Well, we're still in Regional Command North, but uh, we're getting up and out early this morning to try to catch a flight out to Kabul to see if we can uh, get to another Regional Command today. Uh, we're hopeful, tired, but hopeful <laughs> that we'll get to a different place today. And uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to think this early in the morning. Day 21 starts right now. raining even harder than it was yesterday. So what do you think that means for our chances of getting out of here today? Well, it means that we're gonna walk half a mile in the rain to find out the flight's canceled again. Fist bump? Hmm? Fist bump? Well, we did eventually take off, and now we're in Kabul, and for the first time in 21 days, I'm going to sleep in my own bed. Hopefully from here, we'll have a better chance tomorrow to catch a flight to a new RC. But first, let's answer this week's poll question. ISAF's Command Sergeant Major Hall answered the question in a coin video posted on ISAF's YouTube page. Today I'd like to talk to you all about counterinsurgency and the ISAF vision of counterinsurgency. Uh, I think first of all I'd like to tell you a story which I think is appropriate for COIN. There is a uh, patrol of soldiers, a squad size element, and they were on a foot patrol. And uh, as they looked up ahead, they saw three guys digging in the road. So uh, immediately, of course, they suspected that they were probably trying to set up some kind of IED. So the, uh, the sergeant uh, deployed his men and they started uh, conducting movement towards where these guys were digging. And as they were moving towards where they were digging, the, uh, the three guys stopped what they were doing and they, they ran off into the, into the hills. So the sergeant got up there and uh, sure enough he saw, found some bomb making material and saw that they were indeed you know, digging a hole to put uh, an improvised explosive device into the road to you know, either kill or injure coalition forces, Afghan security forces, or possibly uh, innocent Afghans. Standing there was a, uh, was a, a uh, cart with a, uh, a jackass, a donkey, uh, attached to it. So the sergeant uh, called the, uh, the uh, IED folks and had them on the way so they could exploit uh, exploit the materials they found and he unhooked this donkey and uh, the donkey started walking away so as the uh, the sergeant said let's go and the men sort of looked at him funny and then they started following the donkey the donkey took him to a little compound and uh, so the sergeant did a what we call a tactical call out he had his interpreter say you know we're coalition forces and uh, we need you to come out with your hands up and uh, so we can investigate because we suspect that uh, perhaps you've been planting a bomb. So they did that and uh, three guys came out, the same three guys, and you know the look on their face was sort of funny because they realized that uh, at first they thought, well, you know, we're just, maybe we can just get away, they just think we're innocent people living in this compound, but you know, as soon as they got out there they realized that this was the same patrol they saw on the road and they knew that the, the jig was up. I think the message from, uh, from ISAF is that you must understand the mission. You must understand what we're trying to accomplish and very importantly why we're trying to accomplish what we're doing. This means you must understand and master counterinsurgency in both theory and practical application. Lacking this understanding, you're a liability to the force and you're not an asset. Coin is a mindset. It's not a tactic, technique, or procedure. Just like the sergeant, I mean, he did what he was supposed to do. He did what he was trained to do, I know how he deployed his force, but he had a tactical mindset to realize that there could be more out of this than just killing insurgents or assuming that these are insurgents and killing them because it led to something much greater. So what we're trying to get people to understand is is you have to look at things differently. You have to sort of step back and figure out why people are doing things in order to be successful. 
Nate and I do stay pretty busy as we attempt to get the daily vlog and blog to you, but on occasion, we do find time to let loose. Now, this is a reminder for me to never leave my video camera alone with Nate. Okay, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Oh! Don't tell anybody, but Ken screwed up and let me use his video camera. So this is Nathan Cam! Nathan Cam! Nathan Cam! So, uh, I'm not really doing anything anybody, but uh, walking back to the room and enjoying Ken's video camera. So, not much is going on, but uh, yeah, so I'm being really bad. Ken may be really, really mad at me for using his camera, because so, I never touch, let him touch my, my still camera, so. Hi, I'm Ken Ramondi, and we're here in Afghanistan to tell you what the boots on the ground perspective is really like. I'm going to try my hardest to tell you what all the perceptions are here in Afghanistan and tell you what it's really, really like. So join me and Nate as we travel around the country and do a really good job. I'm Ken Ramondi, and I'm live from Afghanistan. We're about ready to go on some exciting missions, and the first one is walking through that door right there. It's day 19. Follow me as we start right now. Nate should hope for his sake I don't ever get a hold of his camera. Join us tomorrow as we continue 30 days through Afghanistan.